There's a few things that make cleaning your bike a much easier and thorough job, and one of those is a set of cleaning brushes. They're designed specifically to get into those nooks and crannies, and they really do make a difference. Degreaser is essential, especially for the drivetrain, because it's the only thing that's going to dissolve the oil and grease. And a chain bath is also really handy, especially if your chain is really filthy. If you haven't got access to a hose, then you're going to need the good old fashioned sponge and bucket. And for when your bike's nice and clean, you're going to need some lube as well. And finally, to satisfy those of us with compulsive cleaning tendencies, some polish or finishing shine. Now, by far the most important part of your bike to clean is the drivetrain, which includes the front sprockets, the chain, the rear cassette, and the derailleur. This is because over time, oil, mud, and grit mix together to form what is effectively a grinding paste that if left on your drivetrain is gonna wear components at an alarming rate. So if you're suffering from a lack of time or motivation, or in my case sometimes both, it's better to clean the drivetrain thoroughly and forget about the rest of the bike than do half a job on the whole thing. It's also good practice to clean the really filthy parts first, so that's why we're going to start here. The first thing to do is remove the wheels because this makes it a lot easier to clean the frame. But before you do this, just make sure that the chain is on the small chain ring at the front and the biggest one or two cogs at the back. If you've got quick release calipers, then release these as well to let the wheels out. And it also makes it easier to clean the pads and calipers later on. If you haven't got quick release brake levers, then it is worth releasing the brake cable tension like this instead. A good trick once you've removed the wheels is to take the skewer out of the back wheel and thread it under the chain and secure it back into the dropouts. And this will just stop the chain scraping on your frame when you turn the crank. If your drivetrain's not that dirty, then a thorough wipe down with a rag dampened with a little degreaser should be all it needs before washing. However, if it's accumulated a load of that grinding paste I was talking about, you're gonna have to be a lot more liberal with the degreaser because that's the only thing that's gonna break down the gunk. Regular bike wash or soap and water just isn't gonna remove the gunk off your drivetrain, so degreaser really is a must. Use a biodegradable water-based degreaser as this will wash off easily and it's more environmentally friendly. And just be conscious of not spraying it directly on anything with bearings such as hubs, bottom bracket and the headset because this will dissolve the bearing grease inside and cause them to wear a lot more quickly. When I'm degreasing the rear cassette, I always do it with the wheel facing down like this and it's just to help stop the degreaser from running into the hub bearings. If you've got a chain bath, then use it because they do work really well and they eliminate the need to spray the chain, which means less degreaser in places you don't need it. They're simple to use as well. Just filter the marked level with degreaser, place it on the chain with the guide on the derailleur like so, and pop the lid on. Run the chain backwards through the bath a few turns and you'll see it go black almost instantly. And then repeat the process with fresh degreaser. Usually two or three goes is good enough. 